Okay guys, hi, it's Mr. Demon again. This is week three practice assignment, practice character assignment. And I'm gonna show you how to get started and where to get the files and get all this stuff done. And so this is one of your most powerful and amazing lessons yet. So what you're gonna do is uh, I would install the Google Classroom app on your mobile device. Um, you can click on it. It will let you log into your account. You can immediately go to your cat's pathway and then we can go to the stream here and go to the cat island project cat island i would open it with a um browser like chrome or safari and it will pop up and now remember we get all our resource files from the lighthouse so you're going to click on the lighthouse and that's going to take you to the folder where you can see practice character and then there's a number of them in here for you to choose from. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, shopper character today. Um, so you're going to go ahead and click on her. It's black because it has a transparency to it, so you can only see the outline there. But don't worry about it. Just click on it, hold down your finger on your screen there, and it says save to camera roll, and you hit OK. And now that's saved to your camera roll. So all you have to do now is go to sketchbook and open sketchbook and then to bring in the character remember all you have to do is go to that little mountain up there at the top and go to your photos and then there is the character voila Hit done all right now the super most powerful part of this lesson to make you the youtube star that you've always dreamt of being and a ninja and a wizard and uh, to turn you into an amazing artist is typically you would draw this character by yourself. You'd sketch it, maybe you trace an image. We'll show you how to do that. Um, pretty soon coming up, we're gonna be working on our own characters from scratch. So you're gonna be required to do all this stuff. But what I would do is piece by piece is I would go to a layer and um, I would uh, start filling her in with color. Okay, so I'm using the inking tool. Um, so you're going to get your color and you're going to go get the color that you want to paint with. So we'll make her have darker skin. Now I'm going to paint on a separate layer other than the main layer there. And don't worry if you go past the line. My flow to be higher. And you can use a different drawing tool if you want. You need to bring it down in size. I'm not going to have time in this video to do every little part of her, but I'll do, let's say, um, both legs. So, whatever part was going to have this color, I would include in filling it in with color right now so like the arms the and I might have to do this as a two-part lesson if I run out of time YouTube kind of limits me to 15 minutes which is sucky um, okay so I would also do the arms and legs and whatever on that layer and you have an eraser tool so uh, you know if I did go over the lines I could go and erase that kind of stuff to get back in the line. So the lines are separate, okay? And the legs are on a separate layer. Okay, now what I would do is I would lock the pixels like I showed you before, go to the airbrush, pick a size brush to play with, go get a color. So for shadows, I'm gonna need a darker tone. I'm gonna go with a darker brown and um, also the opacity. And then, so I've locked the layers with that little um, padlock, remember, that I showed you on the last lesson. And I can quickly paint in the shadows on her legs where I would think the shadows are. Now, remember, when you're doing something like this, you have to imagine in your mind's eye, where is the light coming from? Like, is it the sun up in the sky? Is it a light bulb on the ceiling? Where is this, this light? Okay, and then once you determine that, you're going to put your shadows on the opposite layer of there. 
And um, if I unlock the pixels, I could always go back to my other tool and like fill in, like there was a little area on her leg that kind of sucked. So I'm going to fix that. So I kind of like went over the edge there. Go get the eraser tool and clean up the drawing a little bit. Okay. Um, but then I go back to the airbrush and I start painting in the shadows. Now the highlights of her legs okay whoops what did I forget to do there I forgot to lock the pixels so it kind of spilled over under the short so I'm going to lock the pixels remember to lock the pixels will keep it from getting anywhere over here so I could paint here for days and never do anything but if I paint here on the legs it's always going to get the legs All right, so I'm going to go get an, uh, a lighter brown for the highlights on her legs with the airbrush and I'm going to kind of start it's not yellow enough not bright enough so I'm gonna go over there there we go okay and you can see I'm highlighting her legs the top of her foot okay uh, technically the sh the highlight should have been over here I put it on the wrong side by mistake wasn't paying attention to my light source okay so I have to go get the darker shadow again now how do I get that darker shadow again? I'm like, well, I don't know what brown I used. All you have to do is go to this little eyedropper up here at the top of the palette, the little eyedropper tool at the very top. You can see it's like highlighted in a color and that will give this like target like you're a sniper. And you just drag that over that plus sign in the middle of the sniper target there, or scope, and you can pick up the same tone. And so now I have the same tone and I could go and put the shadow on the correct side remember the pixels are locked and um, you can see I'm doing a really good job on the rendering of her legs so uh, I want to go up here and get an even brighter highlight I'm not sure what to use maybe that and uh, go over to the side here remember you have opacity so if you play with that you know you won't do as much damage and I can really kind of highlight just a few areas on her legs where it would be brighter okay and then what you're going to want to do is every time you do a new item you're going to make a new layer with the plus sign and on that new layer you want to put it above the bottom layer that you did remember you can click and hold down on the layers and drag them around if you you know do that order but we just select the layer and then you're going to go get your color so we'll give her I don't know what color shorts should she have a uh, green and give her green shorts okay and so she's gonna have green shorts Remember, I'm drawing on a new layer and you have to be a little bit careful when you do this because this is where you can spill over by accident and stuff see like here I'm spilling and it's kinda going into the layer so I, I can be sloppy if I want but then I have to go back with my eraser tool and meticulously clean up all that crap that I just spilled everywhere okay so that's that's the downside anyways um, so there's the shorts the shorts are now separated on a new layer so I'm gonna lock the pixels on the shorts and I'm gonna go get a, a shadow color for the shorts so usually like I said the same tone will apply and then so now I gotta figure out okay where are there gonna be shadows on her shorts opposite of the light source I might need a darker green here. Okay, and then I want to go get a, a highlight. How do I get that green back? Get the eyedropper. Snipe that. Snipe. And then go get a, a brighter shade for the highlight. Okay. Alright, you can see a few little sloppy areas that I have going on here. You can turn off the eyeballs and find out like where is that sloppy area. I think it's the, the green down there. Okay, I didn't paint it, so I'm going to unlock the pixels. And go to my brush. 
and I'm going to try to uh, pick up the eyedropper a darker tone get a small brush paint with a hundred percent flow I've unlocked it so I gotta be really careful now okay now if like that's a problem you could always go to the line art layer and get a very small inking brush get black and touch up the actual line art you're also going to want to go back to the shorts layer there and you're going to want to get some highlight colors so I got yellow and I'm going to use my regular inking tool there on uh, the tattoo inker and I'm bring it up in size and then I'm going to kind of like this paint in highlights, like hard highlights. Remember the layer is, yeah, oops, I painted it on a separate layer by mistake, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to paint in some, that was a good mistake. Okay, some hard highlights. If I go back to our legs and unlock the layer, oops. Just hold down with your fingers and drag. Um, I could go and get a highlight color for her legs. I think that might look good. Sometimes it's hard to figure out like what color to use. I'm also colorblind, so I can't see green at all. Uh, which some of you might be like, what? How is that possible? How does he not even see green? I, well, I don't. I don't see green at all. So you can see how I paint the character, um, and uh, you know if you go back and forth between the layers, you lock the layers. You can get your eyedropper. You can eyedrop highlights. I could, you know, um, or I can eyedrop. Um, make a mistake. I can eyedrop um, any tone I want, and I can kind of go in there now and just touch up areas of her shorts. That I thought you know weren't weren't very good, that kind of thing. And then I just I separate everything onto different layers, and I use the airbrush, and then I go in and do hard highlights. And then um, you might want to put in some backlighting too. So like let's say there's some backlighting behind her, I could go to her legs, lock the layers down, go get a backlight color like let's say purple or blue. Usually that's the backlight color get the airbrush again get a brush size and just kind of like put a little bit of backlight color you can see like on the on her legs that blue tone that's the backlight so just that kind of stuff is really important okay so have fun with your character try this technique it's more of the same separate on the new layers when you're ready to save you go up to the button you click on gallery you go to save current sketch and, uh, and when you're done and finished and you want to upload this to the Google class then the best method is to share I found and then just like save the image into your photos folder and then uh, go back to um, the uh, log into the Google classroom and go to Cat Island open it with Chrome and uh, go to where we turn the work into which is going to be um, in the classroom so the classroom building and then you would go to this one is uh, practice assignment 2 so click on the box and then the plus sign down there at the bottom will allow you to upload the image from your photos and there she is upload okay the only downside to this is is that there's no name on it I'll make sure that uh, we get it with your name on it otherwise you won't get credit